we all have this question now. Should I stay or should I go? We see a decline in trust across society. It's about time our politicians had some backbone. Because as it stands, at some point between the next one and three years, most of the things that this document entitles me to are going to be taken away from me. And the fact that we are in such a terrible state right now, that has to be addressed. I do think that at the moment we are heading for what you might call a hard Brexit, not a soft Brexit. Is it soft? Is it hard? Is it scrambled? This is not inevitable, folks. There is nothing inevitable about this act. Tool. I do think that young people can actually convince many leavers that this isn't what they were sold. Given the extra information people now have compared to what they had in June 2016, it's not surprising that people now might like to have uh, uh, you know, an, a, another look at the facts. There's no question that there's a sense of bitter disappointment amongst their most important European partners. Because we're not a depersonalised mass of migrants, as we've often been treated in the political discourse or by the press, I hope that divisions and the distrust being built in Britain can be arrested and reversed. To make sure that this is as inclusive as possible. I want us to stay in to change the world. I managed to get Nigel Farage to admit live on his own radio show that we always had control over immigration under EU law that we simply weren't using. The problem is not that immigrants strain our NHS, the problem is that immigrants leaving strains our NHS. Within the next six months, there will be a whole series of critical decisions. The votes of individual MPs will matter enormously. These local elections will be the last election where EU27 citizens will be able to vote, and I strongly urge everybody to use that vote. Keep challenging the government, keep challenging the EU. Mobilise hundreds of young people to ask different government departments what Brexit actually means and expose much of the waste and cost of Brexit. We have six to seven months at the very most in which to turn this around. Our country is at stake now. This is about our futures, our voices, and every single one of us has the responsibility to speak out and use it. Thank you.